The Blue Mountains are expecting a rollout of new intercity trains later this year. The new fleet is expected to have mobile charging ports, spatial seating and improved accessibility for people with disabilities. Blue Mountains resident Suri Holmes relies on the trains as her mode of, of transportation and is excited for the new fleet. I can't drive, so I, I rely on public transport 100%. When you're travelling on the mountains train, it's really like you're on there for an hour minimum. So the fact that they were kind of focusing on giving you comfort such as like charging your phone and stuff was really exciting. Blue Mountains MP Trish Doyle has opposed the upgrade on several occasions, criticising the trains being too wide for the original track and lack of reversible seats. Having heard about, you know, the fact that they didn't, the railway gauge wasn't right and all these kind of little things that weren't really considered, I can see how you could take the position where it wasn't really thought out. In an interview with the Blue Mountains Gazette in 2019, Doyle states that the community had not been informed of the taxpayer cost. The new intercity fleet, originally slated for a mid-2020 release, is expected to start testing in the coming months. I'm Emily Minnie for CSU News.